William Robinson, the wild gardener. He was a man who urged gardeners to improve the lot of the poor by producing cheaper and better food and creating health-giving green spaces and a sustainable approach to life. Born 1838 and he died in 1935, Robinson began his horticultural career as a garden boy in Ireland and ended it with over a thousand acres in Sussex. He, he actually bought Gravetime Manor, which is a haunted house and uh, now a hotel and inspired such horticultural names as Gertrude Jekyll, Samuel Reynolds, Samuel Reynolds Hall, sorry, Frank Crisp, Ellen Wilmot and E.A. Bowles with these stunning designs. And he knew the merits of hardy plants. There's grave tie. Let's see if we can see the ghost. Wild gardener or pugnacious paradox. I tend to think he's the latter. He's definitely best known for his fervent uh, endorsement of wild gardening, including the naturalising of bulbs. And his first book was published in 1870. That was called The Wild Garden. Published at £30 through Bibliophile Books, this half-price bargain is just £15. 